Hello everybody, how you doing? As you can see, schools are back. Great, isn't it? <laughs> the old country's going to pop. Nobody knows what they're supposed to and not supposed to be doing. And Here's a great one. Wales is in lockdown but isn't in lockdown. No, sorry. I'll start that again. Portugal is on the restricted flight list. Wales isn't in lockdown at all, but Portugal's on the restricted flight list for Wales. So if you come home from Wales, uh, from Portugal to Wales, you've got to isolate for two weeks. But if you come home from Portugal to England, you don't have to isolate. Okay, I've got a little problem with that. How many flights go direct to Wales from Portugal? I, don't, I have no idea. I'm sure there are some. So you got, I don't know, a Welsh family drive all the way to Luton, go for holiday in Portugal, fly back into Luton, go home to Wales. Who knows? Who knows if they're isolating or not? I don't. I don't know. Um, are they taking it that serious? They're taking everybody's names and addresses of where they're getting back to and where they come from. Seems like a bit of a mammoth task for me. So yeah, little moan. Moan and groan. Schools are back as you've just seen by the, uh, there's some bit of the video footage there. Schools are, uh, are back. Uh, staggered starts, staggered finishes at some schools. I say some because I don't actually know if they're all doing it. I have heard that some are so, I don't know, maybe somebody can let me know. Not that I'm actually interested, I have no children of uh, school going age anymore. It's nice that learner hang back on them two cyclists. So yeah, I have no idea. They might be, might not, who knows. And we've still got the two metre social distancing. That's still in place. Um, although, I do remember a little bit on telly with Boris saying it's one metre plus. Nice little bike. It's one metre plus. Uh, with precautions. So what's transpired is, is if you want to get within two metres of people, that was naughty, I ain't neutral then. If you want to get within two metres of people, you've got to wear a face covering, which does provide some protection. It's not 100%, but it does provide some protection, which I think is the important bit. Couple of vehicles parked here, what I have to. So yeah. Up to or over one meter with a face protection, face covering. If no face covering, over two meters. Yeah, it's, it's quite simple. Uh, if you want to go into a shop, they're all advertising now face coverings. I'll go into the shop, I'll wear uh, my neck roll scarf, my motorcycle neck roll scarf, it comes up over my nose and mouth. And everybody seems quite happy with that, it's the face covering. Is it a medical grade face mask? No, it isn't. Uh, all the face masks currently for sale on eBay, Amazon, and just to mention two of the big. Uh, Websites flogging these things that I've seen. Are they all medical grade? No, they're not. You've got pattern ones, you've got, you know, people can personalise them. Uh, Elvis, there's a couple of the wife's got, she's an Elvis fan. So she's got a couple of Elvis ones. Um, she works in a well known card shop and they've started putting out their Christmas cards. So she bought a couple of Christmas ones to wear in work. Are they all medical grade? No. Uh, 
do they all do they offer some protection? Yes. Any face covering will offer some protection. It's what you're on about. So yeah. So if you want to go into a shop, you wear a face covering. The people working in the shop don't have to wear one. Yeah, let that sink in for a minute. I'm going into a shop. I have to wear one. It's a place to work for them, so they don't have to wear one. That's yeah. I I, I don't I don't get it. Um, I've seen plenty of shop staff wear them. I mean, it's just sensible if you ask me. You can be mixing with lots of different people every day coming in. All right, they're wearing face coverings. Why don't you wear one as well? You want to get on public transport? Got to wear a face covering. Bus, tube. Wear a face covering. Oh, it's windy today. Uh, yeah. I thought it would have been far better to say when you leave your house you put a face covering on except for those exempt obviously there's asthma sufferers, COPD, COAD uh, all these people with breathing difficulties they can't wear one for a long length of time so I mean they've got an exemption but they're also uh, vulnerable at risk people so should they be going out at all? Probably Probably not, I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, perhaps face coverings, face shields would be a better option for them. But so there you go. My, my way of doing it, dealing with it, would have been leave your house, face covering on, you take it off when you get home. Everybody wears them all the time. Like, we, like I've already said, they are not the be all and end all, and they are not going to protect you from getting this virus, coronavirus, from somebody that you spend time with in close quarters. But they offer some protection, and that's what it's all about. It's that some protection. Um, there's a, a, a great video I did see by a I can't remember his name now, uh, a doctor that said but it reduces, if you're exposed to the virus, it reduces your intake of the virus and therefore your body is it's able to cope more. It, it, can, it can deal with a small dose of this and you may get a cough, a snivel, a temperature but your body will be able to fight it because it's getting a small dose of this virus. Uh, if you if you're not wearing a mask and you get a large dose of it, that's when people are getting ill. And maybe that's why we've seen the death rate going down, even though the infection rate is still up and rising. It's because people are actually using precautions now and distancing and getting smaller doses of this virus rather than huge doses which were proving fatal in the end. Yeah. Is, yeah. That's just a theory, like I say, it's my theory. It seems to make sense. What are you saying down for, mate? Come on. Anyway, I think that's more or less all I've got to say on uh, face masks, face coverings, whatever you want to call it. Something that goes over your mush. Keeps you protected. Offers you some protection. Look at it like a, I don't know, a condom. It's not 100% proof. But if you don't want a baby, 
you try not to have sex with that one, unless you're really stupid. Oof, getting warm in here. It's not that warm out here today. Face us over and done with. Let's move on to lockdowns. Oh, local lockdowns. Leicester, Manchester. Apparently I read somewhere that Bolton has got the highest infection rate in the country. Uh, although we seem to be three different countries. There's Scotland and Wales and England and Ireland. Four that would be actually, not three. So, yeah, Bolton's really high. Uh, I was reading on uh, social media and I say social media tongue in cheek because it was the police that put it on social media Hertfordshire Police saying that Hamill, Hempstead, Tring and Birken, say, Birken Burke Hampstead so I'm breaking his teeth in for a friend Burke Hampstead are close to a lockdown well, you know, they're either going to have a lockdown or they're not come on um, there was a plea that to people to be sensible and take note of social distancing and etc etc and the precautions well if the R rate's gone up to the point where you're looking at it could go into lockdown then them things ain't working so I don't know stick it in lockdown this has gone on for so long now um, a lot of people just aren't getting it they, they're not getting it they're not getting, they need to be two metres away from each other. They're not getting, if they want to get closer than that, they've got to wear a face mask. They're not getting it. And people need to, to learn, they need to get it. So yeah, everybody, people, come on, be sensible. Stop travelling all over the country unnecessarily. Uh, Jeremy Corbyn's brother, I only know him as Corbyn. Uh, I forget his first name, Piers, I think it was. Led a protest rally in London against the lockdown. Lots of people attended, lots of people there. We're protesting against lockdown. Uh, end of an interview on GMTV. Uh, it's on YouTube, it's in the files. You can read it. Uh, he was claiming that it's, this virus is all fake. Uh, there isn't, there's no need to be a vaccine, it's all fake. And it's against everybody's rights to be told to go into lockdown. Well, if it's for your own good, I don't know. But yeah, he's, uh, there's also the story broke this week. He's now been fined £10,000 for organising an event that had more than 30 people uh, attending. So yeah, it's, it's very fake, isn't it? Um, there you go. I'll let you make up your own mind on that one, but I know I've got my opinion, and it is just my own personal opinion. Um, yeah, it's, nobody wants to see loved ones suffering or dying and things like that just help spread any kind of virus. Incidentally, uh, if they were opposing lockdown and restrictions and things, I wonder if uh, any of them were wearing masks. I've not seen any footage actually, that would be quite amusing, that would be quite funny. Claiming it's a fake virus and not wearing any. I mean, some big, big names have now got it as well. Um, I think it's Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Uh, him and his family have reported Carbona are you know, there, coronavirus positive. Even though allegedly, um, I'll say allegedly because 
it's just a report that they made that they've been taking all the precautions and everything they need to. Um, filming of the new Batman film was had to stop because the lead or one of the people that plays Batman or I don't know, it's one of the, the cast. I don't know which one, so I won't name any. Has been reported to be coronavirus positive, so um, I'm sure in a situation like that, the film crews and companies would be making every effort to keep everybody safe because otherwise they're open to libel uh, lawsuits. Like anybody, any company would that forces people together and they get ill, they're going to open themselves up to a lawsuit. So. So yeah, uh, just a little moan and groan this time. Queues are dying down everywhere now, everybody's getting sensible. Uh, a lot of people have got into the habit of online shopping. Being as I work for a large delivery company, uh, I can agree with that. Uh, the amount of packets we're dealing with is getting more and more. All the time. Um, very high. Oh, excuse me, but companies need to be careful. Someone contracts it, could be in bother. Anyway, anyway, that's my moan and groan. Moan and groans part two. There you go. New title for the video. Speaking of titles, I hope everybody likes the uh, intro I've done. That was uh, that was fun. And I'll speak to you all again soon. Take care. Keep yourself safe. If you're riding rubber side down. I'm about off work to uh, enjoy a lovely day of working. You take care. Speak soon. Bye for now.